you wanted to know more techniques to create beautiful artworks on glass so here i am with yet another beautiful floral glass painting technique yes guys we will be creating this gorgeous floral painting i have used oshp sheet today because i didn't have any glass piece in stock but you can feel free to use a glass or a perspex I really love the beautiful color combination in this one. The complementary shades of blue and red itself created a gorgeous piece of art. So without any waiting, can we just get started? So this is a floral design I have drawn on a paper and I've taken an A5 size OHP sheet. Here is the black glass liner from the brand Marabou Glass Art and I'm starting to transfer the design from top to bottom. And I'll do one flower design at a time. If you're a beginner or if you're working on a larger design, it's better to stick the OHP sheet to the design so that you can move it around easily. Here I'm not showing the whole process of outlining because by now you guys might be expert in the outlining process. Only thing to keep in mind is to apply uniform pressure in the tip of this lining tube so that you will get beautiful uniform lines. Because as you guys already know, uniform and even lines in these glass paintings makes it really unique. completed drawing the whole design on the OHP sheet and once it's dried I'll move on to painting this. So here I'm using this beautiful ruby red shade from the brand Camel. Since I'm using it directly from the nozzle or directly from the bottle, I'll get a beautiful even layer of paint throughout the design. Here also I'm not showing the whole process of spreading the paint, it's just easy as that. You need to squeeze the bottle and spread even layer of paint throughout these flowers. Now that all the flowers has been painted red, I have added an extra border in the design. So now I am transferring that border onto the OHP sheet. Meanwhile the paint of the flowers will get dried. This was actually an idea that came to my mind while I was painting the flowers. So this is usually how I work. Seeing my sculptural artworks on my Instagram handle, which are my original artworks, most of the people uh, ask about tutorials on that. But I I am not sure about doing tutorials on my original works. And also most of the times I tend to experiment a lot and try to find my own techniques. So most of the time it will be spontaneous like this. Now I have completed drawing the outline border. And I'll move on to adding paint in these pods. So I'm using an opaque golden shade. As you can notice, I'm not using a brush in this design. I'm using a backside of a brush. You can use a toothpick, a skewer or a lolly stick to spread the paint. Now I am moving 
on to adding this complementary shade of ultramarine blue from the brand Pebio. I'll add this shade in the center portion of the flowers as well as the border of the painting. If you want, you can use brush to spread the paint at this point of time because we have got a wider surface to cover. But I am sticking on to the same back side of the brush. I needed a subtle shade of green for this portion of leaf. Since I didn't want to use emerald shade from Pebio, I'm using Pebio Moon, which is a paint from the Fantasy range of paints. As I had mentioned in one of my previous videos, the shelf life of Pebio paints are comparatively less, and it's sad to see most of the paints getting dried over a period of time and so that was the case with my pebio moon paints and few of them i had already dried so i had leftover paint from this uh, beautiful shade of green and i thought of using that up for this portion i'm also using a touch of emerald shade to add certain highlights in certain portions of these leaves Now I have completed the painting and I will let it dry. Now comes the favorite part of mine which is adding details with the glass liners. I am mainly using black and golden shade to add details at most of the portion. If you have watched my previous videos, you might have noticed me doing the outline using continuous dots. So this is yet another way of adding interesting texture in the outline. These are simply few vertical strokes which is done continuously so it makes a textured line. Now we have completed the outline also. We are not yet done. There is yet another step which will just elevate the whole artwork which is shading of these red flowers. I am using purple shade which is kind of dark red from Pebio and using this q-tip to add slightly darker shade. 
in few of the places in these petals. Earlier in one of my projects, I had tried adding this Pebio paint over camel solvent based paints right away without drying and it reacted badly and it, it didn't turn out well or as expected. So I tried this way and uh, I let the first layer dry and then add the details or the darker shade and this works. And now you can see how beautifully it has turned out. So I'm just adding few golden dots throughout this border. And that's how I have completed the painting. And now move on to the framing part. Initially, I was thinking of keeping the burlap background, but you guys can notice that it didn't turn out well or it was not that appealing so i thought i will keep it plain and this is how it looked finally with a plain background and a beautiful black frame enjoyed watching this beautiful floral glass art you can feel free to use any glass paints according to the availability at your place and feel free to explore various techniques and as i always say don't stick on to my own design you can try and explore various techniques to create simple and beautiful patterns on your own but use the paint wisely and use gorgeous color combinations to get the beautiful results. So as I always say, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your creative friends. And if you are new here, please consider joining the small creative family by pressing that subscribe button. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications once I upload new interesting and unique arts and crafts videos. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. See you.